What's going on team, Nick here. Welcome back to the Karate Playbook. And today, I am extra excited because over the weekend, I had an incredible honor to spend three days training and learning from the kickboxing legend, Superfoot Bill Wallace. And he was nice enough to give me the okay to take some of the ideas from this weekend and share them with all of you. So today, I'm gonna give you one of the many takeaways that we took from this weekend that you can use whether you do traditional karate, open style, kickboxing, or even MMA. Doesn't matter what style you do, as long as it involves kicking and punching, you can utilize this concept. And I'm so excited to share this with you that I'm gonna skip over my normal intro, and instead, I'm gonna show you a quick clip of Superfoot himself teaching this idea, and then we'll go back and talk about some of the finer details that I didn't catch on tape. Now, before we jump into the clip, I have a quick Superfoot pop quiz for you. Now, if you know the answer, just toss it down in the comments. But don't worry, I'll give you the answer right at the end of the video. So today's question is, which amazing martial artist was Bill Wallace's best friend? Now with that, let's go ahead and jump over and hear this drill explained by the man himself. All right, so as we saw in that clip, our main goal right now is to catch this person right in the ribs with a side kick. Now in order to set this up, we're gonna use either a back fist or a jab, depending on what your preference is and what the other person is open for or reacting to. So a back fist is gonna come to the side of the head and it's gonna force them to block either out to the side or across their body this way. Either way, it's gonna open up their ribs a jab is going to force them backwards and it's going to open up their ribs underneath their elbow. So either one is going to create the same result. Now what we're going to do is really fast talk about the hand techniques and how we're setting the motion up and then we'll talk about the footwork and how we're going to execute the kick as efficiently as possible. Now keep in mind that we're not going to talk about exactly how to throw a side kick. If you want a video on that, I'd be more than happy to do that. Just toss a comment down below. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off, in this case, throwing a back fist. So I'm gonna throw this, you can throw it from any position you're comfortable in, but I'm gonna throw the back fist to actually hit. I'm not gonna throw a little back fist like this and not really have any intent behind it. I need to get this motion out there to make them block. I wanna throw this back fist in a way that if they don't block, I hit them with a back fist because that, first of all, is gonna be a great thing on my side, and it's gonna then condition them to block even faster, because as it turns out, getting punched in the face kinda of sucks. So as we throw this back fist and it catches them, or they block, on the second one, they are very likely to actually block this technique now. So as you throw it, they're gonna block or react in some way. Now on the third one, we're not gonna actually throw a full back fist. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my hand up as if I'm throwing a back fist, but I'm gonna only do a partial one. Now the reason behind this is that I don't wanna commit onto my front leg on my third technique. So going onto the footwork, when I'm setting it up, I'm gonna throw my back fist stepping in and pushing my weight forward. So I'm gonna throw two of these, one, two, and then on the third one, instead of putting my weight on this leg, I'm going to slide my back foot up. So as I lift this hand, I'm gonna slide my back foot up, and as you notice, my weight is on my back leg, which means I have no weight on my front leg and I can kick with it. So again, from here, I throw one, weight goes on my front leg, two, three, and then we kick. All right, the reason for this is if I go here and then try to kick, you're gonna see my body shifting back to throw this kick. But if I go one, two, three, your attention is gonna be here and then the kick goes straight out just like that. So again, make sure that as you're throwing this, you throw the back fist to actually hit and then on the third one, you bring it up as if you're throwing that motion and you let that back foot step up so your body is facing sideways so you can throw a side kick. All right, and we wanna hit with the heel obviously as we do this. All right, I hope these tips were really helpful for you. If you have any questions or anything I can do for you, please toss them in the comment section down below. I love connecting with everybody down there. But with that, let's jump back to the beginning of the video to the Superfoot Pop Quiz where I asked, 
which martial artist was Bill Wallace's best friend? And the answer to that, of course, was the amazing Joe Lewis. Now, Joe Lewis was without question one of the best martial artists who has ever lived, and his legacy will go on forever. I had the pleasure of training with him one time many years ago, and in just that one seminar, I learned so, so much. Now I've had the pleasure of training with Superfoot in five different seminars, and in every single one, I learn and grow myself as a martial artist. So if you haven't had the pleasure of training with him yet, do yourself a favor, go over to his website right now, superfoot.com, and look up, see if there's any seminars he's doing around you. And if there aren't and you run a school, contact him, see if you can bring him out, because the experience that he has is unparalleled and the amount you will learn is irreplaceable. So with that, thank you all so much. Have an awesome time training this and a great day. I'll see you all in the next video. All right, peace.